In this video, I want to show you how we can use QGIS to do bulk coordinate transformation. This is a fairly common question I get where people ask me, I have some coordinates uh, in a spreadsheet and I want to take them and transform them into another coordinate system. So I'll show you two techniques on how to do this using QGIS. Here, we'll start with a spreadsheet containing some coordinates. Uh, this is a fairly simple spreadsheet. I have three columns, one for ID of each point, and then I have the latitude and longitude. And now I want to compute two more columns in the same spreadsheet containing X and Y coordinates in any uh, given projection. Uh, for this exercise, we'll transform them into a UTM projection, but you can apply this technique to uh, take coordinates from any CRS and uh, transform them to any other CRS. One tip is that QGIS uh, can read Excel files directly. You can just drag and drop an Excel file and it'll just open as a table in QGIS. So here we have our QGIS layer uh, containing the same sheet from the spreadsheet. The first step we wanna do is to take this table and convert it into a vector layer. Since these are lat long, we can use a processing toolbox to convert them into a point layer. So we're gonna search for this tool called create points layer from table. This tool allows you to take a table uh, containing X and Y coordinates and turn them into a vector layer. So I'm gonna show the X and Y coordinates. Remember lat long uh, is Y and X. The latitude refers to the Y coordinate, the longitude refers to the X coordinate. Uh, since we have lat long, uh, we can assume the CRS is EPSG4326. And we're going to create a temporary layer here itself. So we'll run this. And now you see some points on the map. Uh, so we've converted this table into a points layer. The attribute table would remain the same. And uh, we have a vector layer. Now we want to reproject it to the target CRS. So I'm going to search for the tool reproject layer. And this will take the coordinates and transform them into whatever CRS you choose. And since uh, uh, we want to use an UTM, we can choose an appropriate UTM CRS for the zone that this uh, your data lies in. Uh, this data is falls within the zone 43 North. So we choose the CRS 32643. And I'm just gonna run this and create a temporary layer. So now we have a deprojected layer where the coordinates of these points are now uh, represented as UTM coordinates. If you look at the attribute table, um, it still doesn't, it contains the old values of lat long because those are the attributes. We want to now take the reprojected coordinates and add them as attributes. And that can be done using this tool called add geometry attributes. Uh, we'll use the reprojected layer as the input and compute um, the X and Y coordinates using the, the layer CRS, which is the, uh, the UTM one. Run this, and this would add two new columns for X and Y coordinates into the attribute table. Let me show you what the attribute table looks like. So now we have our original lat long values and X and Y coordinates uh, column added to the table. And this are the UTM zone 43 North coordinates for the same point. And this is the result we want, but uh, we maybe we want to save this as an Excel file, uh, since maybe whoever shared the Excel file with you would expect an Excel file back. Also, we want to rename these coordinates and maybe change the order of the, uh, the columns. So we'll use one of my favorite tools called refactor fields. This allows you to make changes to your attribute table, add, delete, uh, reorder some fields. So we'll take this fields uh, here, we can just rename it. I'm gonna rename this to be UTM X and UTM Y. Also, since our original coordinate was in lat long order, I want to change this to Y and X. So we'll just change this order and we have now uh, created the new attribute table. And since we want to save this in Excel file here, instead of creating a temporary layer, I want to save this to a file. Here from the dropdown, we select the output data format to be uh, XLS files, and we'll just um, name the coordinates to be coordinates new. And I'm going to run this. 
if I look at my folder, uh, a new Excel file is available here. If I look at that, uh, I have two new columns, UTMY and UTMX, that were computed uh, from transforming the lat long into the UTM projection. Now, uh, let me show you a little bit more advanced method where you can do this in a single step. You'll also learn about some expressions that uh, QGIS has that can allow doing coordinate transformations. So we have, we start with the same Excel file. I just dragged and dropped it into QGIS. And now I want to add two columns, UTMY and UTMX, uh, which will take this and transform this into UTM uh, coordinate system. So uh, we'll use the same refactor tools that we used earlier. This tool allows you to uh, add uh, more than one field at a single step. So this is preferred over the field calculator algorithm where you want to add multiple fields. So I want to click this button, add new field, which is going to add uh, two new fields to the layer. I want to name this UTM Y and UTM X. We'll set both to be a decimal number. Here, we can now specify our expression. So first we want the Y coordinates. The Y coordinates are latitude. So we'll start, uh, we want to now take uh, the input coordinates and compute what is the, the Y coordinate from the geometry. So our input contains just the lat long values. And to do the transformation, we need a geometry. So we can use this tool called the function called make point, which will take uh, X and Y field to uh, values to create a point geometry. So we'll give this uh, y uh, is our longitude and x is, sorry, x is longitude, y is latitude. And uh, using this, we can now take each uh, row and create a geometry feature. You can see the preview that now we have a geometry point. So output of this is a point for each feature. Now, since we have a geometry, we can now transform it to one of the CRS. And that can be done using this tool called uh, function called transform. This function takes the input geometry, uh, a source ID for the CRS and a destination uh, CRS. So we'll apply this function. We'll just say transform this geometry uh, from the source EPSG 4326 to destination EPSG 32643. And you can see I have an output as another geometry. So now this point is transformed to a UTM uh, geometry and we can now extract the X or Y coordinates out of that. The functions for doing this uh, are just simply called X and Y. So this is a function which given geometry will extract the X coordinate uh, as a value. Uh, since we are now first computing the Y coordinate, we're just gonna do y so i'm going to do y and use this function so i'm going to say y of this whole thing and you can now see this value this is the the equivalent y coordinate for the point in the utm uh, crs i'm going to click okay so i've computed this and uh, we have created this expression i can copy this expression and paste it here and simply change the x, y to x. So now we have this same expression. I've just changed y to x here, and this is the field. And we can now directly save it to an Excel file. We'll just save it as a file called coordinates and this for expression, just to show you that this is created using the expressions. And we have our output file. And this is the exact same result that we got, but this, we did everything, uh, reprojection, transformation, extraction, everything using expressions. It was a single step process versus the other was a multi-step process using the processing tools.